Brother Matt's sermon text is going to be 2 Peter 3, 10, and he's going to go through 12. But the day of the Lord will come as a thief in the night, in the which the heavens shall pass away with a great noise, and the elements shall melt with fervent heat. The earth also and the works that are therein shall be burned up. Seeing then that all these things shall be dissolved, what manner of persons ought ye to be in all holy conversation and godliness, looking for and hasting unto the day, unto the coming of the day of God, wherein the heavens be on fire shall being on fire shall be dissolved, and the elements shall melt with fervent heat. This is a truth which is foundational um, to our hope that is laid up before us. It's one which, when seen for what it is, shapes everything that you do. And it's, it is a promise which cannot be undone, a fixed point in time for us to look ahead to. It provokes us to be sober in the way in which we live. The truth that this world um, is not where we will spend eternity and that it does have an expiration date, so to speak. Amen. The, world, the world as we know it seems like it will be here forever to those without, without eyes of faith. Those who are in the world spend, count, spend countless hours doing things to try to improve the earth and to make it a better place to live, but we know that things that are seen are temporal. There is coming a day when it will all come to an end, a rather violent one at that. However, if we diligently watch for this day, it does not have to overtake us as a thief, as it will those who, who are not watching. For those who do not believe, this, this day will come to them like a thief. They will have everything taken away from them that they hold most dear in an instant. There will be no second chances. There is no secret coming of Christ, no space of time to repent. Now is the day of salvation. So knowing this truth, what manner of persons ought we to be? Amen. Those who are sober, those who walk circumspectly, those who walk with a view of things to come, expectantly awaiting the arrival of our Savior. Now Brother Matt's going to come up and um, tell us more concerning this great and terrible day of the Lord. Mm -hmm. 